channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale. But still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Oh, Lord, he's still walking, bro. 10 minute intro scene that just moves on walking. Give it to me. I don't care. <laughs> Bro, damn, the drip is impe impeccable. <laughs> oh, the impact of each step, bro. Damn, master. Yeah, he coming. He coming. <laughs> it's got more fucking sound effect, you know, noises than compared to like slime when, you know, Tensuro, when Tensuro's having a fight. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, oh. Don't you, why is it, why is it so epic? Every impact of the steps, man. And comparing this to like Bollywood levels of like production value, just like Muzan slowly walking slow motion, a different camera angle, a different sound effect. This shit's fucking Bollywood material. <laughs> Done walking? Dramatic wind! Kibutsuji. Oh fuck, he's so hot. Dude, almost three minutes of just padded content with just a recap. That is insane. Three minutes of walking in the recap scene, seven different camera angles, 17 sound effects at each fucking step. Give me more. Hashira's Unite! Yeah, Muzan's packing down there too. Did you see that? What eyes, bro? You don't got eyes. I don't think you do. That my family failed to exterminate. Stain of the family. What kind of <laughs> Sir! Master! He's just so hot. He's just perfect. Look at him. That hair. That glistening skin. He looks like Michael Jackson. He's too hot. I wish he would keep glazing how hot he is. This is all according to plan, to master. Master is just ugly and weak right now. No, no, that's so rude. You go to a hospital, terminally ill patient, he just walks in. <laughs> Ugly motherfucker, ew, what are you doing? Ew, you're insulting my eyes. Oh, come on. I mean, he's not in the best shape, that is true. Mm. I mean, he's just gonna die at this rate without Muzan even have to do anything. Oh! Okay. Is this the first time we've ever seen his eye? Have we ever seen it in season one? If, if we haven't seen season one, then this is the first time for me. Because again, season one content, I've just... just It doesn't exist in my head. Like, we know nothing about Masters. Uh, we have seen it. Okay. 
we've um i we don't know master's like illness though right there is nothing explained about what's going on with master nobody knows he's blind and he's really sick and no one knows anything other than that in the anime right okay good 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 I mean, who's gonna stop him? Her? I don't think so. That's why they look so similar! Because, like, I was always saying, are they brothers? Like, they look... Even though I could never see the eyes, just like the hairstyle, overall face structure, it's like, they look really similar, right? Yeah. Different generations, but same bloodline? Very distant, but close. I don't give a fuck. You think I won't kill my own kin? I'll do it. Muzan. Backstory time again. What a sad bloodline. Why are they just so cursed? I, I know Muzan's backstory. We, we saw all that at the end of, you know, when Nezuko conquered the sun and with the finale, you know, we had the whole thing of how Muzan, you know, became like, he was sickly, then he, you know, eventually became one with the demon. But like, do we know why their bloodline is so sick? Like, there's no reasoning we've been given, right? On like, why does their family, the, the kids, they're just so weak and like, just so sick. So sleep. What'd you say? Kill the demon? Alright, defeat defeat Muzan and your clan will survive. Alright. Alright. So priest bloodline purifies our shitty cursed bloodline? It's as simple as that? It's just he did say curse, but like, why is it cursed? I'm asking. It, it, it helps me nothing. Like, if you think it's a cursed bloodline, I'm asking, why is it cursed? But it's obviously not going to go to the answer. But if you somehow <laughs> mix the blood with priests, then the blood becomes less shitty, okay? They die before 30 every time? Bro is on his fucking deathbed, just like saying his last words. Muzan, my motivations all this life was to defeat you. You cursed state on my family. Muzan just like, ugly ass, trash. You fucking dead. You stupid. You still talking? I don't care. This is a McDonald's. Sorry, ma'am. This is a Wendy's. Not yet, he hasn't. The karma's building. <laughs> this guy, bro. <laughs> to conquer the sun just like Nezko has and exist in all my glory. I don't know. No hatred. Do you feel pity? What? The kids are just playing on the side? I don't know where the kids showed up. He's not gonna kill the kids and say shut up, right? If he did that, that'd be crazy. Two is for two pine sprouts. Two. Master Muzan? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I agree. The kids do scare me more than Muzan. This, this shit sounded like a horror film. Like, the kids have appeared out of nowhere, started playing fucking volleyball back in the day. Like, what's going on right now? Their dad's about to fucking die. And Muzan's here. And they just start just singing out of nowhere. This is some horror movie shit, bro. No bodyguards, we need them when you have the kids. Eternity. Okay. Yeah. 
に随分と自信があるようだなしかしいやお前がある It's getting closer! 君は Bro is bleeding! Out his eyes! 私は永遠が何か永遠というのは人の思いだ Eternity is instead of one being living forever, it's a succession of different generations passing on the will and the inheritance of the past generation and moving forward. That's the cliche we're going to go at. Yeah, human will being passed across generations and living forever, and then Muzan just trying to be himself, you know? <laughs> Muzan is every shonen cliche hater, bro. <laughs> Your words make my stomach turn. I've heard this bullshit cliche in every goddamn shonen anime. True? We're still here, baby. We're still here, baby! That itself is proof. Damn. The kids are still playing without a worry. Ooh, what is this animation? He wants atonement? I will forgive you? Oh, All of a sudden, I feel like the tables have turned. You know? I felt like Muzan was in control the entire time. And we're just like fucked and just like dying in bed. And suddenly domain expansion. And then this scene. Yo! Muzan. Your time is coming, Muzan. Dude! Is that supposed to represent Master and his wife, the tiger and dragon, or something more? Anyways, the imagery here is crazy. Yes! Hashiras United! There he is! Let's go! Mm -hmm. Master, dude, he's so deep. You could never understand, you monster! You have no humanity. There's no one to take on the will. True! If he dies, right? If Master dies, it doesn't matter. We got other boys to take on the will and move forward. But if Muzan dies, it's over, bro. I never actually thought about how fragile, like what a glass castle, like the house of cards that Muzan has kind of set up. Yes, the demons are busted. Absolutely. They can just heal their asses while we, you know, we're, we're not a stamina. Once we die, we're dead. But like if Muzan dies, it, it's over. It's a fucking wrap. So it's like, Master's right about this. Miwa. Kimi tachiwa. What do you mean your kind? Kimi ga horobun daro. <gasps> What a realization, bro. Yeah, that was too personal. Oh, he mad mad. Yo, Master's been cooking up this line. Just like rehearsing in his head until this moment throughout the four seasons, bro. Now he can just die in peace. One more. This guy, man. Everyone loves you, Master! He's absolutely right! He's gonna go down as a martyr! If, if Master dies, it's gonna embolden the Hashiras to be even more determined! I never thought of it like this, man! I straight up never even thought of it like this. Like, I thought that we were truly fucked. I thought that, like, it's a rap. We're, we're so feeble humans, you know, the demons can live forever. But it's like, now that I think about it, we ain't so bad. Ah. 
聞いてくれる。いや、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、Fuck, right? If he just didn't stall and just killed, you know, Muzan would have just been able to focus, stay locked in throughout the rest of the season, but hey, it is what it is. Muzan. c r o s About time, bro! Sanami, go! All the Hashiras united. Everybody, dude! Hanjiro, are you coming too? Good, good. Now, do you think it's time to activate Demon Slayer Mark altogether? Because I've been saying, right? Others, Hashiras hasn't activated the Mark, and we need Tanjiro in the middle. And to everyone to, like, do circles around it in, in, like, a hus, in like a fucking sauna, right? Because, like, I feel like Tanjiro needs to be present when the Demon Slayer Mark is activated. Now, there's a reason. Everybody is about to unite. Like, let's see it. I feel bad for the kids, though. Oh, fuck me. Backstage, <laughs> wait, 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 we do flashback? It's just intention to not have security. The Hashira are more valuable than the Master, dude. That's how he sees them. I don't want to be a person. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> Go! What the fuck? Whoa! Yo! What is it? Is this Muzan power? They didn't have to do that. They did though. This is snow. This is a little snowflake, I think, right? I I think this was a little snowflake that's like disappearing shard by shard. Is uh, that's crazy? That's crazy, dude. They didn't have to do they flexing right now at their production value. Holy! So I'm confused. Is this Muzan's attack or did the master intentionally blow shit up in hopes that a last suicide attack is gonna take down Muzan? Fuck, this should have this should have been experienced within theaters, man. But like when you're doing reaction content, what do you want me to do? You want me to fucking bring you in through a fucking iPhone, set up a little stand, and have fucking stream the fucking movie in the theaters? I can't be doing that shit, man. Ah. Muzan! Muzan! Oh! It's Muzan! It's Musa. Yo, his Gucci belt survived though. The fucking the Gucci belt survived, but the rest of his trip. <laughs> He's not dead. He's gonna be fine. Musa's gonna be fine. But I guess that was Master's last stand, huh? Musa literally got cooked. Damn the regeneration. Gang up on him. You're all here. Yes, yeah. I guess the kids are dead too. Then, like, like, Master didn't just blow himself and the wife and the house. Like the entire area, like the family is gone. Holy shit! Is that the end of his bloodline? Then, well, obviously Muzan's related, kind of in a very distant way. But like, no more Ubuyashiki blood. Blood is left. Like this was it. There's no other kids. 
Does he have more? He, I, I, I don't know. I no, no spoilers, but like it seemingly master just went and said, fuck it. Goodbye. Face of a Buddha. Smile of a Buddha. What does that mean? Why did he say that? Because Muzan says, I've never had any sort of accountability. I've never had any sort of punishment. I've never seen the face of Buddha, but yet here he is. Master, what's that? That, that is a crazy thing to do, though. I, I agree. Absolute insanity. I agree. So that the Hashiras could get here just in time. Oh, right now this is actually so hype dude damn like the movie was just like the, all the hype shit in 40 minutes and like this season has been stalled so i had no hope for like a grandiose finale i thought we're just gonna be like all right that's the end of training arc see you in infinity castle but it's like nah dude they had this shit ready with muzan <laughs> So, Master didn't live beyond 30 either, right? This is confirmed that he was either in his, like, uh, earlier, like, late 20s, right? So, again, like, what, what was I gonna say? Fuck, I, 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 lost, I lost my train of thought. Yes, oh, the, what was I gonna say? The, the, are the, the fucking guards intentionally having no guards, right? It's like, it wasn't Muzan coming into, you know, Master's place and invading. It's like, nah. Muzan was in danger the entire time. It was all a fucking bait. We never wanted to hot shit us there. This is all the plan. Ooh. I don't know. I don't, who the fuck the blood demon? Blood demon. Uh, this is still not master, right? I, 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 is it the fucking demon scientist lab girl that showed up? Uh, that she got uh, she got invited over here to do the research. Like, who else would have this demon blood art? It's not fucking Nezuko, right? Like, I I I don't. It's gotta it's gotta be the demon scientist girl, right? <laughs> She's fucking in there! <laughs> Hand is in! Eye blinds, more demon arts to, you know, sneak in! Hmm? Sun particles? <laughs> Is that possible? I don't know. No! Any regular demon I'd say would work, but on Muzanto, would it really? I think Tama is gonna die today, right? Demons that you fucking made! Nah, it's still your fault. Ah, uh, I'm still gonna say it's your fault because you're the progenitor demon. Fuck you. Get it, Tama! Remember, we're still buying time right now for the Hashira. Let's go! Oh, the nail on our forehead. Oh, what's an icon? Go! Yo, kill me! What weapons? Is that an axe? So he uses like an axe with like a chain attached to it. I've never seen this weapon before. Let's go! Let's go! Oh! 
That's a fucking headshot. We put the counter anti demon thing. Backstory time. Oh, Master was only like uh, 25, 24. Because Hashira, he became Hashira at 18 or 19. And he's 28 or something. So it's been eight something. Yeah, he's got 20, 20, 24, 25 ish. 23, 23, 25. I, it's something around there. I don't know that's right. Fuck that kid. That kid just slapped him. <laughs> what was her name? Sarah? Sayo? I think it was Sayo. Fuck Sayo, dude. Back then, Master still isn't injured, huh? I wonder what the injury was. Muzan coming. Yeah. Be ready. And like, okay. So like, we put the anti-drugs in. And we didn't cut Muzan's head off. But I'm going to assume the weapon that, you know, Gyomi used was like Demon Slayer material. But like, Infinity Castle hasn't happened yet. And like, he's going to survive this. How? <laughs> I don't need a justification for this. Who really cares whether or not how Master fucking knew, right? Intuition, fucking, they're, they're blood related somehow, whatever. Special skill. Clan specific intuition, baby. Foresight. Oh, oh, it's an actual thing. So because of the foresight, they were cursed with shitty fucking bloodlines to never live past 30? I don't know, it seems like a blessing and a curse, right? To have this ability to just read into the future and just like make as much, much, much money as you can by just exploiting the fucking world system. But then you're like, yeah, but the, but the trade-off is like, you're not going to live beyond 30, sorry. Wait, did the kids know at least? <laughs> Okay. You motherfucker, how? How are you regenerating like a titan right now? What do you mean? You mean cut it off? What? The, 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 the fucking weapon? The hit? Tamayu's drug? How? Cut it again! So what is it now? It's giving you some bullets. Because like before, what was the power scaling before, right? Because the power scaling was like, all right, if you cut demon neck, uh, the head with blade, they dead. But then it was like, wait, wait. Now we're going to have a new mechanic where we're going to have two demons. And you got to cut both their heads off at the same time or they're not dead. And now it's just like, wait, wait. <laughs> There's even more now. Motherfucker just won't even die by getting a head cut. What do you need? Do you need all the upper ranks to die and then cut his head off and then he dies? Like, how does it work? What's the mech? What's the mech here? <laughs> so only through sunlight we can beat Muzan. That's the only way. And I fully expect Muzan to also conquer the sun before the season. Uh, not this season, but like... Before the series of trilogies of movies end. I fully expect Muzan to conquer the sun and to be able to be this like apex, you know, predator style. And then we still beat him somehow. That's how I, uh, that's how it should go. Just last till sunlight, huh? Okay. It's unreal how fast he regenerates. Tamayo, man, she's still in there. Come on. Still breathing. <laughs> now, even though the rest of the Hashira is showing up, right? Even though the rest of the Hashira is showing up, and our goal right now is to last as long as we can. But, like, what about upper ranks? Like, what if Kokushibo fucking shows up? What if Doma fucking shows up? What if Akaza shows up? You know, like, oh, fuck. 
No, all right, all right. Sonami's next. Okay, second beer. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Oh, yeah, got the summer. Oh, yeah, got the summer. Look at the slow motion, bro. Title drop! The high should have united. And everything is looking good. Tamayo got him stuck. We're sealed. He got the anti-demon fucking drugs in there. Every Hashira is here. Tanjiro is here. All we gotta do now, wait till sunrise. But, but, this is not the end of Demon Slayer. We got Infinity Castle to happen. Meaning Muzan's gonna get away. How is he gonna get away? Brute force by himself? Upper Moon's gonna clutch. Let him cook. Sun breathe his ass, Tanjiro, get in there! Never heard Yome just yell out with that much emotion. He's always like, no, 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 no. Holy fuck, you could just feel the emotion, bro. Ruzanda! Ruzanda! Holy shit, it's the end game. Just keep cutting. Let him regenerate. No one has ever seen Muzan before. Like, that's why everyone is like, is it him? Is it him? Like, like, and obviously we've seen him, but not a lot of other Hashiras have ever seen Muzan, right? Yeah. Yes, Sunbreeze! How is he gonna get out of this? No! No! Why? Why are you smiling, you motherfucker? Yo! You! Oh! What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh! Oh! Do! Oh. Bang! The Infinity Castle! Bang! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> was Genya just training here? He was just training, huh? They brought Genya too? Alright. American breathing, brother. <laughs> you should have finished the tempo early. Bang! Named NPC! The most, the strongest, Saikyo NPC, Murata-san, come in! <laughs> Zenitsu! Zenitsu! Whoa! That's crazy how the physics works in here, right? Because he was falling, then it was like, yoink, the gravity just changed immediately. Everybody's dropping in! Inosuke immediately understood the assignment. He, Inosuke was like, what's going on? What's going on? Oh shit, it's Infinity Castle time! Let's get it! Genya? Yeah, where's Zenitsu? The soundtrack! Okay! Zenitsu's here. Zenitsu? They've been doing something weird with them last episode, right? Because it's like, all right, Zenitsu having this goofiest moment. Then it's like, no. Serious time. He got the layer. Something bad fucking happened. He got so fucking serious. Absolutely locked in. Now, is this sword the regular sword that he always had? Or is this a special sword? Because they were giving a lot of attention here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume it's his regular sword. Locked in! Zenitsu might be my favorite character now. Locked in Zenitsu is different. Conscious, you know, lucid Zenitsu fucking sucks. No one likes him. But locked in Zenitsu, bro? Holy! And he's not even sleeping, by the way. He's just serious now. She 
Shinobu versus Doma has to happen, right? The person that killed their masters got, or no, was it the sister? I forget. I think it was the sister, right? It's gotta be Doma's, right? <laughs> and what else was there? <laughs> Iguro, Iguro. Where's Tanjiro at? Where's Netsuko at? Oh, Muzan! Tamayo's still there! This is so high, dude! Bang! I mean, he's, he's kind of getting away. I mean, I mean, we're just falling and, you know, he just he is getting away, but I knew what you're trying to say! In the movies. Let's see you try in the movies. See you until the movies. Dude, this credit scene is so good. Wow. This whole soundtrack of the credit scene. I'm gonna have to listen to the soundtrack by replaying the credit scene, bro. That's the only way. All right, we got a little bit more. We got a little bit more. We got a little bit more. Are you ready? Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Post credit scene. What's going on? I'll keep you safe. Why? Just fucking go into this. Why would you bait me with more Infinity Castle? What? You could have just went to Taisho Secret, bro. Why, why show me more of this? Fuck you. I'm not, I don't need this shit anymore. All right, give me the secret. Alright. Okay. Don't let Igoro hear this. Don't let Igoro hear this! Oh! What? Rengoku's most important junior that inherit What? But was. That's why she doesn't use his techniques. Was. Okay. I thought that Skujo, that, that term is like, you inherit their techniques as well, but like, she is using a variant of Rengoku's breathing. Because love is very passionate and burns, just like Rengoku, <laughs> okay? Rengoku secret, Rengoku secret? That's that's how everyone met him and Goku in the fucking train. There it is. What do you mean? What? 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 Get him out from the backstage! Bring him out! Pull him out! What do you mean? Oh, that's just, they're just fucking teasing us. I mean, Rengoku's not gonna show up for Infinity Castle arc, right? No, no, no. Right, right. Okay. Alright. And ladies and gentlemen! That is Demon Slayer Hashira training arc. And hey, say what you will about some of the other episodes earlier on. Yes, I know there's a lot of issues with this season of anime, which I think is completely justified. Well, two things. You thought of being so greedy to, you know, pad out a 40 minute movie into eight separate fucking episodes was ridiculous and it suffered sometimes due to anime original content, just like throwing 10 fucking airplanes with Muichiro. Absolutely, that was dog shit. But there's also beautiful other anime only moments where we talked more with the Hashiras. I really like Sanami a lot. Sanami, Yome, uh, Tomioka Giyu, you know, the backstory with his was pretty shocking. But everything building up in this episode, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10. Bro, the amount of hype in this episode is dummy stupid. There was no 40 minute movie, then someone fucking lied to me. This fucking episode was 
dummy, stupid, hype, the whole revel, like from the beginning, I didn't know Master was built like that. I never knew Master was a monster, bro. He said, come here. Yep, I don't need any guards. I know I got future sight. Them kids and my wife, we gonna blow ourselves up just so that we're gonna buy some time for Hashira to show in. He was already willing to go down as a martyr. So that the Hashiras would be even more emboldened to take down Muzan. Man, Muzan walking scene was hype. But Master actually made it look like Muzan was the one that was in trouble. Like walking into a tiger's den. I didn't know Master had it like that, man. And then the rest of the Hashiras, bro, showing up one by one as they finally see who Kibutsuzi Muzan is. Oh my god. And the revelation that bro's head... Doesn't matter. Gyome got first blood. Doesn't matter. There is a only way to defeat him is by using sunlight. But we know if it's going to be any cliche of an evil villain, right? He's going to conquer the sun. I don't know what's happening with Nezuko right now. I don't see her being summoned with the bang because they probably could never locate Nezuko, you know, upper four. But I have no doubt that Muzan will somehow conquer the sun. And then it's going to be up to Tanjiro to use some bullshit main character sun breathing plus plus tech technique to defeat Muzan and that's gonna be Demon Slayer the movie and that's it for me I know that we have the trailers to check out for the movies and it's a little disappointing that the movies are separate into three parts and like for the consumer you're probably hype but think of it like this anytime there's an anime movie there's a huge ass fucking delay that happens until the global release so it's just like you know what are we gonna do about that but when it does come out for us to watch you know through these streaming services I will be there. Thank you so much for checking out Demon Slayer. And I will see you in the Infinity Castle arc. Take care.